Good morning, and welcome to a new episode of God's Word on the Go. I am your host, Pastor Dr. Yvonne Scott Miller. I am pastor of One Lord House of Worship in Duluth, Georgia. The Word of God in Habakkuk 2 and 2 says, Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables, that he may run that readeth it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. What happens, my friend, when your vision is so big that when you speak it and think it, it makes you look foolish? (laughs) Do, Do you do what Rebecca tells you to do and write it down? and make it plain? I know for a fact that the writing is not the problem. We can write the vision down, but what happens when we have to speak the vision? What happens when we have to let the world know about this crazy vision that God has imparted into our souls? Are you strong enough to look foolish while you wait on God? It's often said that if God gives a vision, you know it's from God because it's too big for you. You know it's from God because you can't do it without outside resources. And so the trick of the enemy is to keep your mouth silent because if he can keep your mouth silent, then those resources will never come. Those resources will not even know about your vision because you're too afraid to let the vision known. I pray right now, dear Father God, that all those who you have imparted a vision into will lose that spirit of fear today and open up their mouths and let the world know what seed you have planted inside them. Uh, In 2000, well, actually September the 21st, 2008, God implanted into me a seed to build what is called the Jehovah Shamar Dome. It will be an 18,000 seat world worship and convention center, costing millions and millions of dollars. At first I thought I was supposed to build a church and, and raise money with via tithe and offering to build it. But it took me about five years to understand that all I had to do was publish the word. All I had to do was Habakkuk 2 and 2, write the vision and make it plain. But then it came time for me to have to speak it. (laughs) You see, there is a um, principle in God's word, Genesis 1, 2, and 3. When God wills a thing, the thing must be spoken in order for the Holy Spirit to be empowered to do it. So, So we have no problems writing it. I had no problems writing it. But then I had to start speaking it into the atmosphere. I had to start speaking it over the pulpit. I had to start speaking it in my daily conversations. I had to start speaking it on podcasts. Are you afraid to speak it because it's so big it'll make you look foolish? How do I get past that fear? Pastor Yvonne, how how do I get past the writing and to the speaking so that things can become out into the atmosphere for the Holy Spirit to grab and move on? How do I do it? The word in Hebrew 6, excuse me, Hebrew 11 and 6 says, Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by a word of God. From God. And that's not in Hebrew. And I'm walking, so I don't have it with me. Faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by a word from God. What what that means is when you see a double word, especially in Hebrew, it means has a double meaning. Faith cometh by hearing means you actually physically hear from God. And hearing by a word from God. That second here means to do. So you hear and you do. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by 
a word from God. Faith cometh by hearing from God. And you're able to do because you have heard from God. What am I trying to say? When you have a relationship with God and you learn his voice and you learn his ways, then when he gives you his voice, he imparts into you what's called holy boldness. What that means is when you hear his voice as his child, then you know that you know that you know that your vision came from God. You know that you know that you know that what is you're saying will come to pass. When you hear his voice in your spirit, the Holy Spirit will impart in you a strength that makes you not be afraid to look foolish to man. <laughs> the foolishness of God is wiser than man. The weakness of God is stronger than man. So how do you get past the fear of being foolish? Get in front of his face and ask him for a word. A word that can only come from his spirit. And when he imparts that word into your spirit, then his Holy Spirit will empower you to be fearless before the world. Write the vision and make it plain upon the tables. But it cannot come to pass until you speak it. Speak the word and watch the Holy Spirit work that thing out. In Jesus' name, hallelujah and amen. If this podcast has been a blessing to you, I ask that you will support it and share it with your friends. I also ask that if you don't have a church home, that you will visit One Lord House of Worship. The address is 3064 Old Norcross Road, Duluth, Georgia. We're at the corner of Breckenridge Boulevard and Old Norcross Road in Duluth, Georgia. I look forward to seeing you. I look forward to worshiping with you, and I like look forward to sharing with you another p- episode of God's Word on the go. Until then, be blessed and be a kingdom blessing.